Good evening. How are you today? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. And you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. How was your day today? Uh, it's it's great. Okay, very good. Guillermo, how are you today? Guillermo, are you there, Guillermo? Lily, do you have any questions about the previous section, section one, section two, and section three? No, teacher. Okay. I did the section uh, three, four, and the middle, the middle term. And the middle term, okay, very good. So you only have section five and the final. Pending. Yes. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, good evening, Guillermo, how are you today? Um, very good, thank you. And you, teacher? I am fine. Thanks for asking. How was uh, your day today? Uh, very good today uh, here at home, uh, doing uh, many things, but because uh, in the morning it started to rain, but uh, I've been here uh, in the afternoon. Um, thank you for, for asking, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Do you have any questions about the previous section, section one, section two, section three? Uh, I don't remember exactly the topics, but uh, they were very clear for me uh, when we studied the, 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 those sections, section one, two, and three. And uh, it, it, it is uh, clear for me, teacher. Thank you for, for, for asking me. Okay, uh, unfortunately, I made a mistake and I send you uh, the documents of section number four. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but that is the wrong file. That file is not good. So I just resend you uh, uh, like 10 minutes ago, I resend you the simple past versus present perfect. And that is the one that we are going to be studying during these three days. Okay. Okay, teacher. Yes, yes, right. Uh, yes, I, I downloaded the, that information that you recently sent us. Okay, very good. Uh, it's okay that you don't have it in hand today because I just sent it. Okay, but uh, by tomorrow, it will be good that everybody has it in hands. Okay. And uh, once again, uh, I apologize for uh, the mistake, okay? Okay, No, no worries. Thank you. Okay, teacher. thank you. Good evening, Cindy. How are you today? Good evening, everybody. I'm good. How are you? Okay. I am fine. Thanks for asking. How was your day today? Uh, it's good. I used good. a little bit of sleep. I'm sleeping. <laughs> I, I gotta go to work 1 a.m. Uh, 1 p.m. or 1 a.m.? A.m. in the middle of the night. Really? You have night shift? Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, that is like morning shift. Yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, we are going to wait for a couple of students to, to join, okay, so we can start. Okay, uh, let me share with you uh, what I, this is the document that we are supposed to have for today, okay? Okay, can you see it? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. yes okay. We can see it. okay, and it's information about how to use not only how to form, this is how to form the simple pass, but also the different uses, when to use the simple pass. So we are going to uh, look this in detail today, okay, tonight. Okay. All of you have done the midterm, correct? Have you done the midterm, Guillermo? 
Yes, I think so. I I I I did the the midterm test. Uh, I think it was on on Friday. On Friday, okay, very good. And Cindy, did you do the midterm too? Yes, I have done. You have done it too. Okay, very good, very good. That is great. Okay. Okay. Two more minutes, two more minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Did it rain all day by Again. your places? Again, like yeah. the last week. Yeah, it rained uh, all day around here in the morning and also yeah. in the afternoon. Right now yeah. it's not raining. Sometimes it, uh, the rain stops and then uh, starts again. Uh, sometimes yeah. in the morning, then, then in the afternoon. And uh, here uh, in my neighborhood uh, has stopped raining. Yeah, right now this, the rain has lit up. Yes. That is quite good because uh, there will be less interference with the internet. Right. Only four. Uh, three, actually. Oh, three. yeah. <laughs> with four, you, four, with four. <laughs> four with me. Four with me. Wow. Okay, but they, uh, they are going to... Yeah, it's almost eight. Yeah. Two minutes. Yeah, 20 seconds, 20 more seconds, and we will start, okay? Okay. Tell us a, a story. <laughs> About what? What do you want to know? I don't know. It's okay if it is true or false. <laughs> or about your anecdotes or... Anecdotes. Anecdotes. How much do you enjoy to teach English? How do you start to learn English? Why do you like the English language? A lot of. <laughs> well, uh, when uh, I I learned English in the United States, and oh. I lived there for two and a half years. Me too. I lived there for three years. Really? Where? Kentucky State. In Kentucky, Kentucky. Yeah. Well, I lived in uh, Louisiana in a town called Lacombe. Oh, really? And all my relatives that lived there, they were, they were taken to the United States when they were very little, okay? Four, five, oh. one in, as a matter of fact, was born there. And my grandmother decided not to, to talk to them in, in Spanish anymore. Yeah. And uh, all of them didn't didn't speak Spanish, so that's how uh, I could learn quickly because I was everybody. yeah everybody only they spoke do. Spanish. They didn't yeah. they didn't even know where El Salvador was. Okay, so yeah. they got forgotten. That about. used to happen. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And thanks God that was for my benefit because I I learned quickly. I never went to school because I lived in a very small town. Oh. So. And uh, why you decided to come? Uh, because uh, I, I went over there as a tourist. 
Oh. While I was there, I went to the immigration office and they told me that I could apply for political asylum. Mm -hmm. Okay. And why, while they're determined if, uh, if really uh, there was some persecution against me, political or military, okay, mm -hmm. uh, or any danger against my life, okay, they were going to give me the political asylum. Mm -hmm. But I had to prove it. And I couldn't prove it. And that, that process lasted two, and a, two years. So after two years in that process, they told me, listen, uh, all what you have brought is not enough. So you got to go back to your country. Oh, my that's, God. And that's how I got back. Okay. And I decided to come by myself because I didn't like at all there. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very... It's, it's good. It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's beautiful country, it's beautiful place, many things mm -hmm. that different so different but i don't know it's totally different and i was there with my two kids my my little boy was born there oh, okay. and my little girl she speak english very well and and um it was so difficult for me because i was alone with they too so I think that that's why I, I don't like it. Okay, well, that is good. Yeah. And it's good that you are continuing, that you decided to continue learning, okay? And, and yeah, speaking. and I'm really be happy to do this. <laughs> okay, good evening, Guadalupe. How are you today? Guadalupe, are you there, Guadalupe? Good evening, Maria. How are you today? Hi, sorry. Ah, okay. How are you today, Guadalupe? I'm okay. Thank you. And you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. How was your day today? I was was relaxing. Today was uh, very uh, quiet. My job in my job. Oh, okay. Very good. It, because my my boss is traveling. Ah, so your boss is traveling. So you are in charge of the office. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. Good evening, Maria. How are you today? Fine, thank you, teacher, and you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. How was your day today? Uh, very, very nice. Very nice. Uh, yes. I was I was telling your classmates that uh, I don't know what happened, uh, but... I made a mistake. I sent you section four a document, but that wasn't the document that I wanted to send you. And I found out today. So I yes. I sent you the right the right document, which is simple past versus present perfect. Okay. So yes. this card, this card, the, the section four document. Okay, we are we are going to use only the last part of it. Okay. Okay, I saw the document this night. Yeah, I sent it yes. like uh, like twenty minutes ago. Okay. Yes. Yes, sir. So okay. it's okay if you don't have it in hand. It's okay. Uh, tomorrow, please uh, have it ready. Okay. Okay. Good evening, Irving. How are you today? How was your day? Teacher. Okay, I am good. My day is good. Okay. My Very work. Good. Okay, Brenda, how are you today? Hi, fine, teacher. Thanks. Okay, very good. And Tatiana, how are you today, Tatiana? Hello, teacher. I am fine. Okay, very good. And Linda, how are you today? Uh, my day is very good. Okay, very good. Now, now that we have, let me see, three, seven, nine students. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I send you this document that I hope uh, that I, if you don't have it in hand, that's okay because it was my mistake. But if you could download it, okay, I don't know if you can see it, the simple past tense. Yes. 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 Okay, so what we have in this 
chart is how to form, how to form. And you can see in the affirmative, we need the past tense of the verb. In this case, the verb is play, okay? So it's in the past. I play, you play, he play, she play, it is play, we play, we play, etc. Something that you know. And in the negative, we always use, well, what is most yeah. commonly used is the contracted form. I didn't play, and as you can see, the auxiliary is didn't, and the verb goes on its base form, okay? So you didn't play, he didn't play, she didn't play. Now, how do we form questions? With the auxiliary, did I play? And again, because the auxiliary is in the past, the verb goes on its base form, okay? And did I play, did you play, did he play? And we use did with all the pronouns, without distinction. Now, when do we use it? That is how to form. Here is how to form the simple past, okay? Now, the simple, the uses. Use the simple past tense to express the idea that an action started and finished at a specific time in the past. Sometimes the speaker may not actually mention the specific time, but they do have one specific time in mind. And examples, I saw a movie, when? Yesterday. yesterday. I didn't see a play, yesterday. A play is also called, is called uh, an obra, okay? Uh, last year, I traveled to Japan. So here we have the specific time, last year. Last year, I didn't travel to Korea. Did you have dinner last night? And then we have the specific time, last night. She washed her car. They don't mention the time, but is, it, it shows by using the past tense that the action started and finished in the past. He didn't wash his car, okay? Now, number two, use a simple past on a series of completed actions, okay? For example, we use the simple past to at least to list a series of completed action in the past. This action happened first, second, third, fourth, and so on. Okay, example, I finished work, walked to the beach, and found a nice place to swim. As you can see, what I did first was finish <coughs> work, and that action is completed, walked to the beach after finishing work, and after that, uh, after walking on the beach, I found a nice place to swim. So that we use the simple past when we want to talk about a series of completed actions in the past. In a question, okay, another example is he, he arrived from the airport at eight o'clock, checked into the hotel at nine and met the others at 10 o'clock. As you can see, all these events have a finish time, okay? A specific time when they finish. Now, did you add flour, pour in the milk, and then add the eggs? Okay, all those on the same question, okay? So all of these, no? all these actions, no? all these actions are in the past, okay? in a series, one after the other one, then is when we use the simple past. Now, when we want to express the direction in the duration in the past, okay, the simple past can be used with a duration which starts and stops in the past. A duration is a longer action often indicated by expressions such as for two years, for five minutes, all day, all year. Examples, so as you can see, when we use for, we can use it with the simple past and we can use it with the present perfect. I live in Brazil for two years. Shauna studied Japanese for five years. They sat at the beach all day. They did not stay at the party the entire time. We walked on the phone. We talked on the phone for 30 minutes. 
How long did you wait for them? We waited for an hour. So is that clear? So we want when we express a duration, a duration of an action that happened in the past. Then we use also the simple past to express habits in the past. The simple past can also be used to describe a habit which stopped in the past. It can have the same meaning as used to. To make it clear that we are talking about a habit, we often add expressions such as always, often, usually, never. When I was a child, when I was younger. Example, I studied French when I was a child. He played the violin. He didn't play the piano. Did you play a musical instrument when you were a kid? She worked at the movie theater after school. They never went to school. They always skipped classes. Okay, and number five, past facts or generalization. Okay, simple past can also be used to describe past facts or generalizations, which are no longer true. As in use for about, this is used. This use of the simple past is quite similar to the expression used to. Example, she was shy as a child, but now she is very outgoing. So you see, I use a simple past to express that an action was started in the past, it finished in the past. He didn't like tomatoes before. Did you live in Texas when you were a kid? Some people paid more, much, much more to make cell phone calls in the past. Okay, now it's cheaper. So uh, here we have a chart in which we can see the simple past with finish time word expression. I went to the cinema yesterday. I went to the cinema last night in 2003, six months ago. Finish time of period, Leonardo painted the Mona Lisa. That's already past. Details of news, I've hurt my leg. I fell off a ladder, okay? You remember when we uh, describe a series of events that have finished in the past. Actions in stories. He sat down and ordered coffee. And on real imaginary things, if I won the lottery, so I use if plus simple past to talk about imaginary things. Okay, so here, we have exercises. I don't know if you have any questions about this, about the uses of the simple past. If not, let's go to the exercises. May the past simple, they could be positive, negative, or questions. Okay, for example, what is number one? Brenda, what is number one? I. Um, I didn't drink. I didn't drink any beer last night. I didn't drink any beer last night. Okay. So oh, okay, okay. No problem. Okay. What is number two? She got on the bus. She. She got on the bus. She got on the She got on the she got on because it's in the is affirmative. And remember, affirmative, in affirmative, we need the past tense of the verb. In negatives and in questions, because we have the auxiliary did, the verb goes on its base form. Okay? Let's continue. Okay, uh, Irving, what is number three? Um what time uh, is the, the auxiliary? Take her up just for the gap. Uh -huh. What Take time did he get up? Okay, and in this case, because I have the auxiliary, 
the bird goes on its base form. What time did he get up? Okay, very good. The okay. next one. I'm teacher, it could, teacher. Yes, sir. Teacher, it could be post. It could be possible if we say what time the. Uh, sorry, what time he got up yesterday? No, no, because look, this is how we form questions right here. How do we form questions using did? Ah, okay, okay. Okay, you see, and that is. I got it. Okay. Uh, did he play? Did he get up? Okay. And remember, the bear, the verb goes on its base form because the auxiliary is already in the past. Okay. okay, I got it. Okay, very good. Jose Antonio, what about the next one? Number four, number five, number four. Uh, where did you get off the train? Where did you get Where did you get off? That is correct. Where did you get off the train? Perfect, very good. The next one. Uh, let me see who's next. Mario Marenko. What about number five? I didn't change trains Victor at Victoria. I didn't change trains at Victoria. And that is correct. I didn't change trains at Victoria. Very good. Okay, the next one, Andrea Romero. We we woke up very late. We woke up very late. That is correct. Totally correct. Very good. Excellent. Cindy, number seven. What did he give his mother for Christmas? What did he give his mother for Christmas? Perfect. That is correct, too. Very good. Next, uh, Lily. I I did no because I... it's affirmative. Okay, and remember that in affirmatives we need the past tense of the verb. Remember? We recited in affirmative we need the the, the the past tense of the verb. Okay, Lily, what is I recite. I received, and this received. is a regular verb, received. I received 300 pounds when, well, uh -huh. go ahead, finish it. I received 100 points when my uncle died. When my uncle died, that is correct. I received. Okay, very good. The next one will be Guadalupe. We... Guadalupe, Guadalupe, are you there? Maria Reyes. Excuse, sorry. Ah, okay, Guadalupe, go ahead. We, we, we uh, use, no. We didn't use. Uh -huh, we no. didn't. Use the use. computer la, last night. We didn't use the computer last night. That is perfect. Very good. Okay. Next, Maria. Maria Reyes. She. Ah, it's a question. Maria Reyes, are you there? Turn on your microphone. Excuse me, teacher. Number 10. Uh huh. What is number 10? Did, did, did she. Uh -huh. She did she make good coffee? Did she make good coffee? Excellent, very good. Uh, Tatiana, number eleven. Okay, uh, they lived in Paris. They lived in Paris. Very good, Tatiana. Linda, the next one. She. Uh, she read the newspaper yesterday. She yesterday. read the newspaper yesterday. Very good. Excellent. 
Okay, uh, Jose Antonio, the next one, please. I didn't watch TV. I didn't watch TV. That is perfect. Very good. I didn't watch TV. Mario Marenko, the next one, please. He didn't study for the exam. He didn't study for the exam. Okay, very good. Ah, it's right there for the exam. Okay, very good. Now the next one, Andrea. Did he call you? Did he call you? Perfect, very good. Did he call you? The next one, Abdulio. <clears throat> Uh, did, did I forget something? Did I? Did, did I, I forget something? Very good. Did I forget something? Very good. Okay, the next one. Okay, we finish right here with... Uh, Okay, let's see, Linda, the next one. What okay. time? Okay, what time the film did start? No, what time? Did the, did the film did, start? Did, did the film. Uh -huh. What time? Again, Linda, what time? What time? Did the film start? Uh -huh. Did the film start? Okay, and remember, the verb goes on its base form. Okay, because the auxiliary did is already in the... Okay, very good. Number 18, uh, Guadalupe. He had a shower. He had a shower. Okay, very good. The next one, Mario. What did you come? Why, Why did, you come? did you come? Excellent. Very good. That is perfect. Okay. Now, the next one is Brenda. Um, he did go to the party. Again? Did he go to the party? Did he go to the party? Excellent. To the party. Okay, very good. Yeah, that is correct. Did he go to the party? And number 19, uh, Irving? Number 19. Did, why did you come? Why did you come? Exactly. Why did you come? Okay, very good. As I can see, you are doing very good with the simple pass, okay? And do you know how to form the simple pass? Okay, now let's talk about the present perfect. This is how you form the present perfect. First, affirmative. Subject plus auxiliary, verb plus the verb but in past participle. Past participle. She has started. I, he, she, and it has. I, you, we, you, they have. And the past participle. The negative, we use the has not or have not contraction. So he, she, or it hasn't started. Are you, we, they haven't started. Okay. Now, question form. Has he, she, and it started? Have I, you, we, they started? So you have done it. Have you done it? She has done it. Has she done it? Is that clear? Hello? Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yeah, so this like is... Our chat yeah, okay. <laughs> this is how to form. How to form. 
And remember, the verb must be in past participle, okay? Now, when do we use it? When do we use it? Okay, with unfinished actions. While in the simple past, we use it in the past participle. Here, we are going to use it, I mean, while in, the, while in the simple past, we use it with finished actions, here we are going to use it with unfinished actions. For example, we use this tense when we want to talk about unfinished actions or states or habits that started in the past and continue to the present. present. Usually we use it to say how long and we need sense or for. We often use a stated verbs. For example, I knowing and notice, I use past participle of the verb. I knowing Karen since 1999, okay? So that means that I met her in 1994 and we still know each other. We still, uh, I still know her. She's lived in London for three years. So three years ago, she started to live in London and today she's still living in London. I worked here for six months, okay? And these are the contractions. I have, she has, he has, he has, it's, his, is the same contraction as she is, he is. What is the difference? The difference is that the verb is no with ing. The verb is in past participle. I worked here for six months. So we use sense and for. We use sense and for with a fixed time in the past, 2004, April 23rd, last year. The fixed time can be another action, which is in the past, since I was in school, since I arrived, okay? So the fixed time in the past can be an action. I know Susan since 1992. I've liked chocolate since I was a child. She's been here since 2 p.m. We use, uh -huh, and remember, it's not that the action start a finish at that time. No, this is when the action started. Now we use four with a period of time, two hours, three years, six months. I've known Julie for 10 years, and I'm talking about the duration of that time. I've been hungry for hours. She's had a cold for a week. Now we can also use for finished action. Ah, how is that? Life experience. These are actions or events that happen sometime during a person's life. We don't say when the experience happened. And the person needs to be alive now. The person needs to be alive now. We often use the words ever and never here. I have been to Tokyo. They have visited Paris three times. We have never seen that film. Hey, they have visited Paris three times. The action is finished, but they might continue visiting. Okay, so that is the action has finished but it's a person's life experience that is still alive. That's why the action hasn't finished because he might do it again. He, the person might, he or she do it again. We don't unfinished time work this month, this week, today. The period of time is still continuing. For example, I haven't seen her this month. Okay, but I probably see her later, okay? She's drunk three cups of coffee today. Up to the moment, she might continue drinking another cup or maybe other cups of coffee. I've already moved, moved house twice this year. And who knows, he doesn't pay the rent, he might have to move again. We can use the, perfect, the present perfect with a finished time word. We cannot say, I've seen here yesterday, no. In that case, I have to see, I saw him yesterday because I'm using a finished time word, okay? 
Now, number four, a finished action with a result in the present. Focus on the result. We often use the present perfect to talk about something that happened in the recent past, but is it still true or important now. Sometimes we can use the past simple here, especially in US English. I've lost my keys. So I can also say, I lost my keys, okay? You sometimes, we, we use the same thing in Spanish. He perdido mi llave o perdí mi llave. She's hurt her leg, so she can't play tennis today. They missed the bus, so they will be late, okay? So you see all these have future results because of this past event. And number five, we can also use the present perfect to talk about something that happened recently, even if there isn't a clear result in the present. This is common when we want to introduce news and we often use the words just, yet, already, recently, or lately. However, the past simple is also correct in these cases especially in American English. The queen has given a speech. You can say the queen gave a speech is also co correct. I just seen Lucy, I, ju I just saw Lucy, also perfect. The mayor has announced a new plan for the railways. So you can also say the mayor announced. Why? Because this has happened recently, okay? Now, there is a one difference between being and going. In this tense, we use both being and going as the past participle of go, but in a slightly different circumstances. We use being often when we talk about life experience to mean that the, persons, the person we're talking about visited the place and came back. For example, I've been to Paris. That means he went to Paris and he came back. In my life, but now I'm in London where I live. So the person went to Paris and now is where they live, where that person lives, which is in London. She has been to school today, but now she's back at home. They have never been to California, okay? We use gone often when we are talking about an action with a result in the present to mean that the person went to the place and is still at the place now. Where's John? He's going to the shop. So that means that he is at the shops now. Julie has gone to Mexico. So where is she right now? She's in Mexico. If she has already come back, we are going to use been, right? Now, they've gone to Japan for three weeks. Where are they? In Japan, because I'm using gone. If they went to Japan and have already come back, then I'm going to use been, okay? Are you ready for exercises? Now, take a look, make the present perfect. It could be positive, negative, or questions, okay? Let's see. Okay, what is number one? You kept a pet for three years. You kept. No, because we need no, an house You have kept. Ah, you have kept a pet for three years. Okay, very good. That is excellent. You have kept a pet for three years. Okay, very good. Okay, number two, let's see. Uh, Maria Reyes, number two, is a question. So what is the question? Have you? Have you? Have you uh, eat? No, what is the past participle of eat? Eaten. Eaten, correct. It's Have okay. you eaten? Yeah. Thai food before? No. Thai food before. Excellent. Very good. I can see that you already got it. Very good. Now, Linda Tabora, what is the next one? It's a question. 
Uh, have it. Okay, have or has? Has, sorry. Uh -huh, has. Has it. Um, I don't remember the verb rain. The regular verb. Has it rained? Rain all day. All day. That is correct. Has it rained all day? Very Thank good. You. The Thank next you. one is a question two, Irving. The question three or two? The question four. Four. Uh, well, uh, we have forgot the invite. Wait, it's a question. And remember, it begins with who? Who? It's a question, right? Yes. Who has? Okay, have or has? Has. Why? If we are using we. Have. Uh -huh. have. In question, when have. we use, when we talk about a we day, we use have. That is correct. Very good. Okay, so who have we? Who have we forgot? Uh -huh. In the past participle of forget? Forgetting. Forgot. Forgot. Oh, that is simple past. Forgot. Got it. Forgot. Forgot. Forgotten. Forgotten. That is correct. Forgotten. Who forgotten. have we forgotten? Continue. To invite. To invite. Invite. Uh -huh. Who have we forgotten to invite? Okay, very good. Cindy, the next one, please. We haven't heard that song already. We haven't. we haven't heard that song already. We haven't heard that song. Okay, okay now here is a, mis a mistake. We haven't heard that song and we're going to change that. We haven't heard that song and we're going to change it to yet. <laughs> Because we cannot use already in negatives, okay? So I'm going to change this to yet. Okay? Okay, very good. Now, let's see. Lily, what is the next one, Lily? He, he hasn't. He hasn't? He hasn't. Forget his book. Okay, what is the past participle forgot. of forgot? What is the past participle of forgot? Forgotten. 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 Uh -huh. He hasn't forgotten his books. His books. His books. Okay, very good. The next one, Guillermo Aviles. Uh, has she, uh, no, excuse me, she has stolen all the chocolate. She has stolen, has stolen all the chocolates. All the chocolates. Very good. All the chocolates. Okay. Perfect. Very good. The next one, uh, Guadalupe Cruz. Uh, Guadalupe, are you there, Guadalupe? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay, Guadalupe, what is the next one? It's difficult, you know. It's a I... question. Uh -huh. It's a question. Has I... Ha have no. or has? No. Have I... Have, have no. I... Have I explained it? Explained it? Explained, explained it, it well? Have I explained it well? Okay, very good. You see, it wasn't that difficult. Okay, the next one, Tatiana. Okay, uh, who have he met recently? Who has he met recently? Okay, very good. Recently, excellent. The next one will be for 
Jose Antonio. What is the next one, Jose Antonio? Uh, how? 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 We finished already? Again? How? 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 We finished already? How have we? How have we finished already? Yet. Yeah. Yeah, sounds better yet. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna fix that. Okay. As a matter of fact, yet doesn't fit here. Okay. Yes. We are going to leave it like that. How have we finished? That's all. Okay. Okay. The next one, Andrea. He has studied Latin. He has studied, studied Latin. Okay, very good. The next one, Carla. I have no. I twelve. Okay, I have I have known him for three months. Okay, I have knowing him for three months okay very good excellent 12 oh yeah okay no problem okay the next one 13 abdulio uh, where have you Study studied Arabic. Where have you studied Arabic? Very good. That is okay. Perfect. Where have you studied Arabic? Okay, very good. Next. Uh, let me see who's gonna be next. Or Dulio was the last one. So we're gonna go back. Okay, Guadalupe. What is the next one, Guadalupe? What countries have they visited in Europe? What countries have they visited in Europe? in Europe? Okay, that is perfect. Very good. Okay, now the next one, Maria Reyes. He has... He has heart. His leg. Uh -huh. He has hurt his leg. Okay, very good. Perfect. Very good. The next one, Andrea Romero. Number 16. Um, no, has, has she? No, because it's not a question. She, she has, has lived. lived her phone in taxi. She has lived her phone in a taxi. Okay, very good. In a taxi. Okay. Very good. The next one is Carla. <laughs> Number 17, Carla. 17. We, we has. It's not, negative. It's uh, negative, right? He hasn't. No, we? What is the auxiliary for we? We didn't, no. No, no, we no. Have, have not, we hadn't. Haven't. Uh, right we here. What is the auxiliary in the negative for we? Haven't. 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 Okay. So we. <laughs> we haven't. And lost. Lost our ticket. We, we haven't lost our tickets. Okay. Very good. That is correct. The next one. Uh, Abdulio. 
Has she called her mother? Has she called her mother? Excellent. Está, Gaby. Very good. Okay, the next one, uh, Mario. <coughs> He is a question. Has he taken a taxi? Has he taken a taxi? Has he taken a taxi? That is correct. Has he taken a taxi? And the last one, uh, Irving. Okay. Uh, she has. What? She has. When? Uh, One? No, what is the past participle of go? Gone. 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 Uh -huh. So we have to memorize those past participles. She has gone to, go ahead, finish it. Okay, she has gone to the library today. The library. And remember, the library is not where they sell books. The library is where there are books that they can lend you the book so you can study. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay, very good. Yeah. Excellent. Now, here we have another set of 19 sentences. But I will I would like you, we are going to do them tomorrow. Okay, now you can do them as homework. And tomorrow we will check. Now, take a look. This is the topic for today. The past simple versus present perfect. So that means when to use past simple, when to use present perfect. What's the difference? Present perfect and past simple. Present perfect simple talks about unfinished action that started in the past and continue to the present. The present. Okay, for example, I've known Julie for 10 years. And I still know her, right? Whereas the simple past talk about finish actions, actions that started in the past and finish in the past. A finish action in someone's life when the person is still alive. Uh, but I'm sorry. Yeah, I knew, no, here. I knew Julie for 10 years. But then she moved away and we lost touch. So you see, I knew Julie. Not anymore because we are not in touch. Are we clear? We haven't seen each other in a long, long time. A finished action in someone's life when the person is still alive. My brother has been to Mexico three times. So that means, you see, this is a finished action because he went to Mexico three times, but because he is still alive, he's still alive, okay, that person can go to Mexico again. So in that case, it's better to use present perfect. A phoenix action in someone's life when the person is dead. My grandmother went to Mexico three times. Is it possible for her to go to Mexico again? Because it's done. Yeah, no, right? Because she is done. Dead. Dead. So, so she can't go. So in that case, I use a simple pass. A finished action when a result is in the present. I've lost my keys. What is the result? That I don't have my keys now. A finished action when no result in the present. I lost my keys yesterday. It was terrible. Now, there is no result. I got new keys yesterday. Is that clear? Here. Yeah. Okay. With an unfinished time word like this week, this one, today. I seen John this week. But you see, the week hasn't finished. So I might see him again. Or this month hasn't finished. I might see him again. Or early today. And I might see him uh, later that day without a finished time word. For example, I saw, John, I saw John last week. When did I see him? Last week. So that, that action is finished. Now, you have to remember that we use 
The past simple for past events or actions which have no connection to the present. Simple past, no connection to the present. And we use present perfect for actions which started in the past and are still happening now. Or finish actions which have connection to the present. We can use the present perfect with a finished time word. We can, right? So, no, I've been to the museum yesterday. This is totally wrong. Are we clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. we are going to do a couple because time is coming up. Let's see. Number one, let's see. What are you going to use? Uh, simple past or present perfect? You decide. Number one, Brenda. We went. Simple pass. Sorry. Okay. Who said we win? Finish it. Finish it. Who said we win? We went to the to the theater theater last week. Uh huh. And because we are using uh, an expression of time week. that has finished, it has to be simple pass. Okay, Brenda. Number two. Yesterday, I have, have dinner. eaten dinner with a friend. No. Why not? Because have we you? mentioned it a time expression um, in the past. So I have to use. I have. Uh -huh. I Yesterday, have. I had dinner with a friend. Okay. There is no other choice. I have to use that. Okay, Cindy. I have never faced chocolate. Okay, I have never tasted champagne. Hey, maybe with a connection in the present, she might try it or taste it later. Okay, Maria Reyes. The next one. It's number four, teacher. Number four, that is correct, Maria. When I was a child. Uh huh. When I was a I, child. Okay. I love uh -huh. ice skating. I love ice skating. That is correct. Very good. When I was a child, I love. And why? Remember, simple past, a serious, a serious. Okay. The next one, Irving. I not have it. Uh huh, Irving. Can you listen? Yes, I can listen. Um, we are listening to you. Okay. Teacher, no escuché muy bien la explicación porque un poco un rato el internet. Okay, now we said that uh, Irving that when is a finished action, simple pass. When is an action that has connection to the present, present perfect. Okay. So this one, does it have connection to the present? And we use the expression today. I haven't drunk I... any coffee today. Uh huh, I haven't. Drunk, past participle. I haven't drunk any coffee today. I feel very sleepy. So it has, uh, it starts in the past, but it has connection to the present. Okay, one more. Uh, Linda. Yes, teacher. Okay, number six. I didn't drink any coffee yesterday. I didn't drink any coffee yesterday, okay? Because that has already finished. Okay, guys, we are going to stop right here. Okay, we, you can go ahead and do all these exercises for tomorrow and we can check, okay? And probably you're gonna tell me, teacher, I have a question right here, no problem. Is that clear? Yeah. 
Clear. Okay, teacher. Clear, Clear teacher. Very good. Very good. Hey, thank you for your time, and I will see you tomorrow night. Okay, at eight o'clock. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Enjoy yourself. Have a wonderful night. Bye. 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 Bye.